Hello and welcome to the video on Autofill. This is an amazing feature that's available in Microsoft Excel that lets you type in numbers, characters, and Excel will continue a pattern to make it more accessible, convenient, and easy. So let's open a Excel spreadsheet. So go ahead, go open Excel software application, and I'm just going to choose File New, or I can just click Blank Workbook, so I have a blank one. And again, we always start in A1, name box A1, and it's Book 2 because I have another one open already. So let's say I want to type MON for Monday, and then I press Enter, and then Tuesday, and Wednesday. Um, it, it could be tedious to do all this, but instead, what we could do in Monday is when you're in that cell and you get that little box in the right hand corner when you're um, hovering over the cell itself uh, you get the big plus sign and that's if you want to select a range when you hover around the border you get the four arrows and that's if you want to move and then if you hover over the little green box in the corner it, cho it changes to a very thin crosshair or plus sign and that you only get that when you're over the green box and what you'll do is you'll hold and drag down and as you drag down it's continuing the pattern that you started and you can go all the way to Sunday if you want to start continue it'll start all over on Monday Tuesday so that's one feature if you were to type Monday out completely now when I use the autofill option, it'll spell all of them out. Doesn't fit. You can see Wednesday doesn't fit. So remember the boundaries, just double click and it'll fit. Now if I want to type in Monday and then I want to I want them all Monday, what I would do is click this little button here which is the autofill options it's automatically set for fill series so it's filling your series I could choose copy instead so I get all Mondays now this time I'm gonna go across because the fill handle works down and it also works across so I'll type Jan and then again I don't even have to press enter I can go right over to the cross here the thin one and drag across and I can go, I'll go to October. Or we can continue to December. And again, it would start all over again. Now on this one, if I were to spell it out and then use my autofill, again, it goes across. Some of them don't fit, but that's okay. Now if I wanted it to always be January, when I drag it across, I would have to use that autofill options and choose copy series so that they're all the same. So it works for the days of the week and the months of the year, but it also works for other patterns. Let's say I wanted to type quiz one, and then I use my fill handle and go across. You'll notice it's continuing as many quizzes as I want. How about week one? And again, the same thing. How about STCC space? Whoops, I have that as a, um, autocomplete so I just had to redo um, and then this one drag it across and the same thing now this is a, a unique one quarter one and I'm going to drag that across as you notice you'll get quarter two quarter of three quarter four but then it starts over again one two three four because it knows there's only four quarters in a whole so it's actually pretty smart so let's say we wanted to do numbers. So one, and I'll drag it down a little bit, and I get all ones. If that happens, go to the autofill options, and instead of copy, choose fill series. Let's say I wanted to start with 10, and use the autofill option. Again, it's giving me all 10s, and I can choose fill series over copy cells. Now let's say I wanted to go by tens, 10, 20, 30, 40. If I do that, you're going to see that again, I'm going to get all tens. And I could choose fill series, but I'm not going to get what I want. 
So to do that, what you have to do is actually do two of them. So 10 and 20. You have to at least um, help Excel understand the unique pattern that you want. So I'm going to select both the 10 and the 20. Now when I use my fill series, it'll go by tens. So if this one I wanted to go by hundreds, I have to do two first so it'll understand my pattern. Select both of them, then use your fill handle. So if it's something unique, you have to at least do two so it understands the pattern. So let's do a date. So I'll type in January 1st, 2019, and it filled in the, the 19 for me, or the 2019, I just typed 19. And I'll use my fill series, and it continues um, all of the, the rest of, up to sep, um, January 7th. Now, if I wanted to, to go weekly, and I typed in the first one, I would type in the next one, which would be 8. Now select both of them and use your fill handle. If you get this, these are called hashtags and or pound signs. And what's happening is they're saying whatever the date is that's in here is too narrow for this column. So I'm going to go up here between the boundary of G and H and just double click. And you can see that it went weekly. Now another thing that you can do if um, Let's see, I'll come back here, and I put in the date, January 1st, and I'll put um, 2023. But I want next February 1st, then March 1st. I want the first of every month. So if I s go ahead and select here, I'll go to 12. Then I'll click this photo fill options, and instead of fill series, I'll um, request fill months. So I get the first of every month, and again, I just need to um, select the um, boundary to make sure it can fit. The other one, if you typed in Monday and you wanted it to be all Monday through Friday only, not Saturday and Sunday, what you would do is you would click the autofill options and you would choose um, weekdays, and you have just Monday through Friday, no weekend. So the autofill feature in Excel is pretty amazing and it helps you save time. It's very efficient and convenient. And you can create your own patterns and use your autofill. You should save this so that you can use it as a resource. Thank you.